Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <clears throat> so, I was sitting here and just watching um, videos and thought that I would do my how I create a um, dark lip. And I already did, unfortunately, <laughs> two of the steps, but um, and then I thought, why don't I do this as a video? But anyways, you guys have seen these products before, so. Um, so first what I do is take my Sugar Lip Polish from Fresh and just to exfoliate my lips. And then once that is removed, I take my Jerleek, um, Love Balm and I put that over top. Um, so what I've noticed is that the balm doesn't really sink in. Well, it does over time, but it doesn't sink in right away, but that's okay, um, because it just helps to add some extra kind of protection and um, moisture to your lips. So then after that, I go in with my MAC Prep and Prime for the lips, and I do this because what I've noticed with, um, what I've noticed with dark lips and with matte lips um, is that they, my lips are always dry and I find that with matte lipsticks it just makes them drier so I find that with this it kind of offers a bit more of a barrier between your lip and the um, lipstick so because you might be thinking like oh well, you just put balm in your lips so why are you using this I don't really look at this as a balm. It's kind of more of a, in my opinion, it's kind of more of a protectant against like a barrier between your lips and the um, lipstick. So I'm just putting that on. And I don't really put too much of this on. Kind of looks like you just saw I go over the lips once or twice and then do the top or vice versa. Um, but I don't, it's not like the balm where I kind of overuse it, I guess. Um, not that I put a lot of balm on, but you know what I mean. We tend to overuse balms, I think. Um, but this I don't use a lot of because, in my opinion, it's not really balm. Um, okay, so now, <laughs> the colors that I chose don't necessarily match, because I just grabbed what the first thing that I saw, but you guys will get the drift, it's, um, um, just to show you, like, the application and the steps that I do. So, the liner that I chose was Nutmeg, number 811 from NYX. And then the lipstick that I chose was uh, Cherry Bomb, number 918B from Wet n Wild. They're not too bad in terms of like color differentiation, but I was looking actually for my Night Moth liner, and I just, this was the first one I happened to grab, so. Anyways. Um... Okay, just grab my mirror. And for me, what I've started doing with darker lips is really just lining the sides pretty much. Um, I don't necessarily go do the whole lip. Um, and I think it gets a little bit messy when you do that. So for me, I just kind of line the sides more so. I don't really go outside my lip line either.
So you'll sort of, I think you can kind of see, I've colored in the sides a little bit because that is typically what I would do because I kind of feel like if you do that, it sort of, um, it kind of helps it wear off a little nicer. And yeah, it just, I think it looks a little nicer as it wears. I don't know, this one hasn't even opened yet. I'll be trying this for the first time. Um, what's in this bag? Oh, also, I kind of, sometimes I kind of like, uh, squish my lips, I press my lips together to kind of help the liner to, um, not to help it stick more, but just to help it, I guess, spread out a bit more. Um, I don't know, I tend to think that it kind of looks a little bit more cohesive when I do that. <laughs> so, apparently I couldn't have six one that was already open, but... Okay. So again, this is Cherry Bomb number 918B from Wet n Wild. You'll actually feel to what I've noticed is that with using the um, Prep and Prime lip, that it doesn't, when you're using a matte lipstick, it doesn't necessarily feel like it is a matte lipstick when you use that. I don't know why, but it feels more like a, um, not like a glossy finish, but it's just not as drying, I guess. Okay, so that's the color. Then what I do, because sometimes with dark lips, it tends to, it can tend to run and, like I said earlier, look a little bit messy. So what I do is kind of line over um, my lips when I put the liner on, I mean when I put the lipstick on, just because I feel like it gives it a little bit more of a finished um, look. And with this, I go over the whole lip as well. Lip on. And then, from there, if you wanted to put gloss on, you can. I'm not going to. I actually really like this color um, on its own. I think it's really pretty. doesn't necessarily go with my eye makeup, but hey. Um, so that's how I do my dark lips. I hope that you guys like this um, tutorial. And if you did, please thumbs it up. And um, do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.